As with any project involving installation, we want to encourage you to take the time to measure the space where the wall standards will be. Make sure you are familiar with what type of walls you have within your store or home. If you are not sure, you can always consult a licensed contractor who is more familiar with the different types of structures and the challenges of each type. Once you have familiarized yourself with the space you will be installing your standards in, all that will be left to do is to install your standards. Installation requires a standard screwdriver, wall leveler, ruler or tape measure, screws, and a pencil for marking. We carry two types of slotted standards. There are a number of different types of standards on the market, so please note what it is that we offer. If you are working within existing standards and you're not sure of what you have, we will demonstrate how to measure for them. Our heavy duty wall standards are available in three sizes, three, five, and seven foot lengths. Heavy duty standards measure a half an inch in depth from the wall. Each slot is one inch in length and two inch on center. The term on center means simply if you measure the center of any slot along the length of the standard strip and measure to the center of a slot directly below, in this case it will measure two inches. This is how our standards measure. This is also how you can determine what size standards you currently have should you find that you have a space where wall standards are already installed. There are many different types of wall standards and manufacturers, so please measure accordingly. We recommend that you install each standard at least one every four foot in width. Our one and a quarter round hangrail bracket fits easily into our wall standards. These brackets hold one and a quarter inch round hangrail poles 12 inch out from the wall. The brackets are available to lock into place. For heavy duty standards, turn the locking mechanism counterclockwise to tighten. Our dimensional straight face out bracket fits easily into our wall standards. This fixture holds standard merchandise such as shirts, pants, and housewares. Our brackets can lock into place. For heavy duty standards, turn the locking mechanism counterclockwise to tighten. The dimensional hangrail bracket holds our one by one and a half inch dimensional hangrail into place approximately 12 inches from the wall. These brackets feature a locking mechanism that is easy to lock into place by turning counterclockwise for heavy duty standards. The dimensional seven cube waterfall bracket fits easily into our wall standards. This fixture holds standard merchandise such as shirts and pants with a uniform look due to equal spacing along the length of the fixture. These brackets easily lock into place by turning counterclockwise for heavy duty standards. Our knife brackets are offered in a 10, 12, and 14 inch length option. The length of the bracket should represent the depth of the shelving that you will be placing onto the bracket. Knife brackets can handle any type of shelf, be it glass, wood, or wood composite. These shelves do not have a lip on the front of the bracket. These brackets easily lock into place by turning counterclockwise for heavy duty standards. The dimensional hangrail bracket holds our one by one and a half inch dimensional hangrail into place approximately two inches from the wall. These brackets feature a locking mechanism that is easy to lock into place by turning counterclockwise for heavy duty standards. These brackets are used with dimensional hangrail where it is being used on wall standards but will not have product hanging directly from the dimensional pole like shirts, coats, or pants. These are used along with dimensional face outs that will serve as a way to display the merchandise front facing and forward from the hangrail. Hangrail end caps are easy to install onto the ends of dimensional hangrail poles. 
Simply insert into the pole and strike firmly using your hand or rubber mallet until it is secure. Hangrail splicers are an easy way to join two different lengths of hangrail. To use, simply insert the splicer into one end of the dimensional pole, add the other pole onto the other end of the splicer, joining the two together. To install the one and a quarter inch round hangrail, simply insert one end of the round hangrail into the hangrail bracket. Using a standard screwdriver, tighten the set screws on the hangrail bracket collar. Our regular wall standards are available in three sizes, three, five, and seven foot lengths. Regular standards measure one inch in depth from the wall. Each slot is a half an inch in length and one inch on center. The term on center means simply that if you measure the center of any slot along the length of the standard strip and measure to the center of a slot directly below, it will measure one inch. This is how our standards are measured. This is how you can determine what size standards you currently have should you find that you have a space where wall standards are already installed. There are many different types of wall standards and manufacturers available, so please measure accordingly. The seven ball waterfall bracket fits easily into our wall standards. This fixture holds standard merchandise such as shirts and pants with a uniform look due to equal spacing along the length of the fixture. These brackets are easy to lock into place by turning clockwise for regular standards. Our one and a quarter inch round hangrail bracket fits easily into our wall standards. These are brackets that hold our one and a quarter inch round hangrail poles 12 inches out from the wall. The brackets are able to lock into place. For regular standards, turn the locking mechanism clockwise to tighten. To install the one and a quarter inch round hangrail, simply insert one end of the round hangrail into the hangrail bracket. Using a standard screwdriver, tighten the set screws on the hangrail bracket collar. Round hangrail splicers are an easy way to join two different lengths of a hangrail. To use, simply insert the splicer into one end of the round pole, add the other pole onto the other end of the splicer, joining the two together. Round hangrail end caps are easy to install onto the ends of round hangrail poles. Insert into the pole and strike firmly using your hand or rubber mallet until it is secure at the end of the pole. Turn clockwise to tighten. The dimensional hangrail bracket holds our one by one and a half inch dimensional hangrail into place approximately 12 inches from the wall. These brackets feature a locking mechanism that is easy to lock into place by turning clockwise for regular standards. Our one and a quarter inch round hangrail bracket fits easily into our wall standards. These are brackets that hold one and a quarter inch round hangrail poles approximately one inch out from the wall. These brackets are able to lock into place. For regular standards, turn the locking mechanism clockwise to tighten. We offer eight, 10, 12, and 14 inch length options for shelf brackets that fit regular standards. The length of the bracket should represent the depth of the shelving placed onto the bracket. Shelf brackets can handle any type of shelf, such as glass, wood, or wood composite. The brackets have a lip on the front that will meet the edge of the shelf. Open and closed one and a quarter inch round hangrail flanges are used to hold hangrail into place on open and closed end walls. To create an easy hangrail bar that can be installed directly into the wall, install an open flange bracket on one side of the wall and the closed flange on the other. Insert the round end of the one and a quarter inch hangrail pole into the closed flange end, then insert the other side into the open flange end. The flange ends are sold separately.